All right, everyone, welcome to this weekend Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for January 19th through the 21st of 2018, and this video is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out that link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so this weekend we do have the moon in Aquarius for Friday and Saturday. Still coming off of this very new moon phase. Uh, new moon started Tuesday and Wednesday of last week in this uh, going into the crescent phase of maybe starting to implement some of the uh, new insights and new things that we've slowly but surely started to uh, develop since the new moon. So Aquarius Friday, Saturday, really good for maybe thinking about contribution, how we can give to things larger than ourselves. Um, this whole weekend, we've got Mercury sextiling up to Neptune, so it could be a very receptive uh, weekend, maybe some good imagination, maybe some flow with the routine. And we have the Sun and Venus shifting into Capricorn, so a shift of value and a shift of focus, maybe more towards the more grounded aspects of life. Uh, discipline, patience, persistence, these types of things can be emphasized for about the next three weeks. All right, so uh, then the moon shifts into Pisces on Sunday, adding to a bit of that watery energy. But all in all, the aspects do look good this weekend. So let's go and look at this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the sky for what we'll start with here on Friday, moon shifting into Aquarius. Uh, moon was in Capricorn on Thursday. Our feelings were probably a little more detached and grounded, but um, I think we're going to be feeling that this weekend anyways with Venus shifting into Capricorn right at the beginning of the weekend on Friday. So a little bit of both here. And uh, with the moon in Aquarius Friday, Saturday, I think it's a great weekend for getting in touch with our more progressive side, uh, seeing how things can be, um, you know, strive towards uh, helping the world, focusing more on the future of things, maybe globally, maybe with our community, maybe it's spending more time with our friends, but all in all, seeing where we can contribute and uh, getting into a bit of that progressive and innovative spirit of ourselves. So, uh, so that's likely going to be the theme Friday, Saturday. And on Friday, Venus getting closer to Capricorn does emphasize the shift of value. And we could be valuing more uh, discipline and responsibility. And this could be just in general, but maybe also in our relationships, noticing this theme as well, right? More uh, commitment uh, things regarding relationships, more about the long-term picture of relationships, grounding them, right? And maybe even a bit of detachment in relationships, which can be a healthy thing. So that's going to be the theme for the next few weeks, um, especially as the sun shifts in there here on Sunday. But let's go and look at the aspects for Friday. Uh, we do have Mercury sextiling up to Neptune. So while we have a bit of this progressive spirit, I think, on Friday, there is this very receptive energy, at least available with the sextile. Really good for imagination, creativity, maybe getting some rest and some alone time. It's just a sort of opening for this, bringing in some peace in our lives, some tranquility. And we may just notice a bit of flow with the routine. You know, Mercury is often the day to day in good harmony to Neptune, the planet of intuition, the planet of flow, the planet of that oceanic guidance in life can give us a bit of flow with the routine. This is also really good for communication, especially if it's communication regarding compassion and understanding, right? A lot of this receptive energy involving um, how we're thinking, communicating, and maybe with that routine as well. All right, so that's going to be going into Saturday as well. This is the only major aspect we've got this weekend, but on Saturday, a bit of this uh, still Aquarius energy, progressive, um, innovative, really good for contribution, right? Our future ideals. And um, then as we get into Sunday, the moon does shift into Pisces, right? And this is going to be the beginning of next week as well. Just like Neptune, this very watery energy of intuition, right? So really good to start to maybe get in touch with this. We are building some momentum with the lunar cycle. So the energies are slowly increasing as we go into next week. But with this Pisces energy, how can we bring an intuition into the day-to-day? -day? 
how we can bring in more receptivity into the day to day, right? And connect to that flow of life, right? And see how everything is connected and everything is perfect the way that it is in the now moment. Right, so really good for this stuff and really good for themes regarding spirituality, meditation, stuff like that, even though the energies are increasing. And this is about the same time on <clears throat> Sunday when the sun does shift into Capricorn, gets closer to that constellation for the next few weeks, the shift of focus. So while we're going to be valuing, I think, that discipline, that responsibility, we're likely going to start to embody a lot of this, right, embodying more of the long term approach to things. Uh, structure, discipline, right? That grounded energy of Capricorn, the sea goat, right? While staying connected to our intuition with Pisces going into next week, still climbing that mountain, right? Taking things one step at a time to build towards the long term. All right, so that is the weekend in a nutshell. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon on Monday for the daily forecast. Take care.